A lot of people ask me, what is a heart attack? Everybody gets some sort of chest pain or chest discomfort, and regardless of your age, you wonder, am I having a heart attack? Well, heart attacks most commonly occur in older people. So it would be unusual for a young patient to have a heart attack. Most commonly, heart attacks do refer to having chest pain. Most commonly, on the left side of the heart, it may radiate down your arms, it may radiate up your neck, it may radiate into your jaw. Sometimes you may have very nondescript symptoms, perhaps something that you think is only a mild indigestion, or maybe no pain at all, particularly if you're a diabetic. But what is a heart attack all about? What's really going on inside your body? Picture is worth a thousand words. Let's pretend this is an artery that takes blood to your heart. After years of smoking, diabetes, poor food intake, high fats, what happens is that plaque grows within this artery. Plaque grows on both sides. It prevents blood from getting through or reduces the amount of blood that gets through. And when you start exercising and your heart starts pumping, it can't get enough oxygen. So it tells you so by giving you chest pain or chest discomfort or arm pain or jaw discomfort. But remember, in diabetics and sometime in women, there may be no pain at all. So you've got these symptoms of chest pain. What is a heart attack then? A heart attack occurs when the plaques within this artery rupture. That rupture causes platelets to start to aggregate. Platelets are the first line of forming a blood clot. So the platelets come in and then other biologic factors occur so that you get a complete blood clot across these plaques. Now there is no oxygen getting through so that all the muscle downstream to that blood clot that formed on those ruptured plaques will die. And now you have a heart attack. In the acute stages, this can be treated by having the patient rush to a hospital and having a cardiologist perform a balloon angioplasty or a stent procedure. I'm Dr. Robert Lazara. The doctor is in. <laughs>